Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to a Friday Lumber Tycoon 2 special. Well, no, it's not really special. I mean, every day is technically special. Um, even today, like right now, this particular moment in time that you're watching this video, this is the only time that it's ever going to be uh, 2 19 2021. This is the only day that will ever be that date. Ever. After that, it, it's gone. So, make the most out of today. You know, watch watch this video fully from start to finish. See what I did there? See what I did? I suggested it to you, and you were like, "Oh my gosh!" And then I like, I attached it emotionally to to a thing that's called an anchor. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, if you haven't watched one of my videos before, I am Code Primate and this is my world technically now there's a lot to me that people don't know and don't understand but that's okay and i'm i'm used to it by now i have adhd i've i've lived with it my entire life but this game right here this is this is what i'm known for okay this is what got the youtube channel started and i want to take a, a moment today and just say thank you thank you the person that's watching right now because you're the reason i'm i'm up here on this platform and i'm inside this game and i'm i'm, I'm awesome <laughs> well that's that's a little conceited code don't you think well n no not really um yes i i like i was going through today and kind of just looking at my past at the stuff that i've done and I honestly, I impressed myself today and I was very proud of myself because a lot of the times I'm sitting here thinking, how can I better the video? How can I um, connect with the person that's watching? How can I make a day better? How, how can somebody just watch my video and be like, oh my gosh, Code, you inspired me. Like, how did I do that? You know? And then I thought about it. I'm like, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to impress you, okay? I, I promise, I'm, I, I love the attention. Don't get me wrong, I love comments. If you're commenting right now, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but that's part of the ADHD. That I'm, I'm an attention seeker. I, I love attention. Um, I guess it's called clout now. I, I'm, I don't want clout. Clout is weird. It's a weird word. It, it reminds me of like clotting. Like when blood coagulates. I don't want coagulation. No coagulation for me. Thank you. Um, but I will tell you that I really enjoy making the content of the videos and, and I really enjoy the live streams and everything else. And where did that piece of wood just go? Anybody else see? Oh, there it is. Wow, that was weird. I don't really have a plan for today. In fact, I never really have a plan for any day as to what I'm going to do. A lot of YouTubers will try and come up with ideas, tutorials, thoughts of what to do in the video. And for me, I like to just hit the record button and go. That's one of the other reasons I, I don't like to, um, to plan anything. I'm just like, spur of the moment, let's go. Let's do this, you know? And it's, a lot of you are watching this for like the first time and you're like, code, What's the point of your videos? It's it's this. It's what I'm doing right now. And that's talking to you. And I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to influence the world someday. Maybe I'm influencing you right now. Maybe I'm making the day a little bit better by forgetting whatever problem you had before coming to this video. Whatever mood you were in. Whatever sadness or confusion or depression that you may have had at that particular point in time. And some of you were like, Code, why'd you cut down the tree and not do anything with it? Well, I don't know, I was over here. I just decided to do it. Whatever the point is, I hope I made it better. And I hope that I brought some joy. Because eventually, my channel will die. Um, you will move on. Um, even Roblox itself. There's some of you right now Okay, and this is this is a hard concept for, for kids to understand, but those of you who are my viewers from four, five, six years ago, 
you will know what I'm talking about. And what's even even more heart aching yet humbling awesome thoughts is that you'll continue to be a fan. You'll continue on in your life and say, I remember this guy that I used to watch when I was um, playing Roblox. And you may be a lawyer by the time that, that thought happens, but you'll be sitting there one day and think to yourself, I said something to you. I made some kind of difference. And I like that. I, I get comments like that nowadays. And it's not too far off of what my normal personality is. That's, that's what I love to do. I love that. I love that I inspire you. And I hope that you go on to have a great life. And I hope that you grow up to be inspired by something. Have a passion. Whatever that passion is. I, I want you to have a passion of some kind. So, whatever it is. And I'm not just talking to kids, either. Uh, by the way, you're supposed to be 13 years or older to have a YouTube account. And this content is made for... Um, anyone over the age of 13 so the, but I mean you could enjoy it if you're under the age of 13 just make sure that you're on your parents account and that you're you're uh, the blah 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 disclaimer just disclaim that so my content is not created intentionally for kids kids watch it because it's Roblox and I feel like I it, and it's family friendly no curse no cuss all that good stuff I feel like parents and grandparents. You get to see a side of me as a parent um, where I play with my kids and I interact with children. You know, that it, what? You're talking to kids? Yeah, talk to kids because you used to be one. And a lot of us forget that. A lot of us forget that we've grown up and I don't think any of you know what's going on, uh, parents. That is, I really don't because I look at my own life and yeah, I can make some rational decisions about things. I don't feel grown up. I never have. I mean, there were times where I did big boy things, but when it comes to actuality of my everyday life, I don't feel like a grown up. I don't feel 39 years old because I'm 39. I feel young. I mean, that's that's the truth behind it. I, I love playing video games every day, whether it's on camera or not. Um, I love getting on my phone and flipping through TikTok. And trust me, there's some TikToks that I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, you allowed that on TikTok? What? And of course you gotta be 13 or over anyway, but that's not the point. I enjoy watching YouTube and I enjoy technology. I love having a conversation with somebody and blowing their mind about the technology, the programming languages that I know and the, the programming that I do. And that's not a bad thing. A lot of people, whenever I was growing up, um, they would make fun of me for enjoying the stuff that I did. And you know, I, I felt bad about it. I felt bad that I liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now that, that was a little bit more socially acceptable, but I was a nerd about it. Like I had the van and I had all four turtles and then whenever they had the, the action ones with the, like the spinny hand and then the ones where they didn't have eyes yet, they were still just the white dots. And they had the weird, like, Popeye-looking grin. And then the hog guy. Him. And the rhino. Oh, and Master Splinter. I don't think I ever had a, a shredder. I did have a shredder. But I think he lost his shirt or something. Like, maybe we picked him up at a garage sale and he didn't have it or something. Anyhow, garage sales. That was something that we did a lot as a kid. And now you gotta have like social distancing and everything else on top of that. What am I talking about today? I have no clue. But the point is, 
I loved the 80s and I loved the 90s and I love that the technology I, I have today is the stuff that I wished for whenever I was a kid. I wished, like, I'm sure I'm not the only 39 year old parent out there who said, I wish I had every video game for the Nintendo. You know, back whenever you were a kid, did you ever say that? Well, guess what? It's here. I mean, illegally, but you can get every single game for the Nintendo or the Super Nintendo. Or better yet, the Nintendo 64. They're called ROMs and emulators, and you, you download them on your computers. And you go to these illegal shady sites that try and get you to update your Flash player. But do you know better than that because you know it's a scam. Anyhow, the point is... Um, what is the point? The, the point that I'm trying to make is enjoy life. Enjoy today. Because before you know it, you, watching now, who could be anywhere from the ages of 5 to 15, enjoy today and cherish it. This, this is so weird coming from me because this is the stuff that I, I used to hear parents talking about all the time. They're like, don't grow up too fast. It's going to fly by. Time will get away from you. But then you have to go with your parents to like the DMV and sit there forever while they're getting their licenses renewed. And you don't have cell phones because you're a poorer family and, and the technology didn't exist at the time. So you took your original Nintendo and you had to defeat uh, Excite Bike within the first 30 minutes. Otherwise, you had to turn it off because you had to walk back out to the car. What I'm saying is enjoy it. Enjoy the technology that you have and do not take it for granted. Not one day, because before you know it, technology is going to grow faster and, and you're going to grow up and you're going to grow out of me and my channel. But you know what? There's younger ones. There are people who are, were born five years ago who are just now reaching my channel. I have kids who, when they were born, my channel had just gotten off the ground. If you joined my channel back in 2007, ooh, money, thank you. Offer up, by the way, that's a great app. If you joined my channel back in 2007, let's see, it's 2021. You'd be 14 now. Is that right? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. You'd be 13. No, you'd be 14 today. And if you were 10, you'd be 21. So if you were 10 years old, well, I, shoot. If you were born in the year 2000, you are now of legal age to drink alcohol. And I can mention that. I mean, that's the, the legal age in, in America is 21 years of age. That surprises me because I graduated high school back in 2000. Whoa. That, I, I know, right? And you know what? There's there's probably a lot of kids who've already turned off the channel right now. They've, they've gone somewhere else. But I love that you're still here. That you're still listening. I haven't done anything. I chopped down a cherry tree. That's it. So like, I normally do like a 30 minute video. And oh, by the way, I, I did get uh, a bunch of money for the... Did I did I show the money last time? Yeah, we sold off all the ice wood. In fact, I was really tired. I remember that. <gasps> Ooh, and you guys still watched. Which was kind of cool because... I didn't really do anything in that one. I mean, I went and collected some ice wood and I got some money so we could build up this awesome house that I still haven't touched at all. But you're still here and you're still watching. And I don't know, I don't know if I'm doing something right or if I'm doing something wrong. Because each one of my lumber videos, it's somewhere in the range of a thousand to five thousand views. And that's every single time. So, for those of you who are watching the lumber videos, thank you. Thank you for being here. That's more than I could ever ask. I hope 
to continue on the channel. I don't I don't want the channel to die. In fact, I know it probably won't die. But the fact of the matter is during January, February, March and sometimes April, this channel, my channel, it just dies. It goes right down the pooper. That right right down the old toilet. And in, in as far as views, revenue, ads, everything. But that's not to worry. For for there's other YouTubers who are watching my channel right now. You, in fact, if you're a YouTuber and you're watching this video and you're looking at your own channel going, my revenue is down, my views are down, my watch time is down. Perfectly normal. Okay? Calm down. You're fine. What normally happens is during the times of October, November, December, right? You've got Halloween, you've got Thanksgiving, you got end of year, you've got December, uh, Christmas, and you got New Year's. You got a whole bunch of stuff going on right then that generates revenue. Companies, they want to spend, 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 spend money, spend money, spend money, get the products out because what's going to happen is tax season. So in January, people are going to be consolidating their books. They're going to be saving the money. We'll see where our budgets are, blah, blah, blah. And the money just goes down. It just happens. So chin up, keep rocking out your, your videos and keep it going. And if you haven't started making videos yet, if you haven't started your own YouTube channel, I highly encourage you to do so. And do it as a family, you know? There, there's a lot of people who are like, I wanna be a gaming channel. You know what, the, the market is saturated with overly zealous, loud people wanting to make like over-edited videos all the time, everywhere. No offense, Dennis Daly, okay? I, I know that you started with an attention, okay? And you, you grew, you grew huge. And now you have sponsorships and everything else. He made a post the other day that said, I'm so tired of putting on a face. Don't put on a face, be yourself. Go, go and, and do what you do. Because even though you may feel like you're putting on a face, it's still part of your personality. It's still who you are. And I don't want anybody to ever think that I'm throwing on a face. You usually can tell what mood I'm in. All right. And apparently it works. Just be honest. You know, that I've seen. It's donut shop, donut shop, Keurig coffee. I know you were asking, and no, it's not alcohol because I, I know the. There's one person that made a comment in my comment section. They're like, "I bet that's vodka he's got in there," or some something like. It's not. I promise. It's it's coffee. Okay, I drink coffee to calm down. Hmm. By the way, it's 11 p.m. for me right now. Uh, it's uh, 12, 1218 for you now, because if you're in central time, if you're in Eastern time, it's probably 218, right? And if you're in Pacific, is it Atlantic or Pacific? Pacific coast, California. If you're over in California, then it's 1018, 1019 for you now. So that's, that's about where I, the range of the release goes. What was I saying? There's some, I was talking about Dennis Daly and then I was put on a face and then, oh, I've seen a lot of channels where the host, the, the person, they do put on a face and they eventually feel like they can't be themselves. Self. They can't be themselves. They can't be themselves. Um, they can't be themselves. And a, l a lot of people get burnt out. I get burnt out. And I'm not even putting on a face or trying to act or do anything weird. Like, I'm just being me. So, by the way, does my hair look like my avatars? Because I realized he's got his all spiky and like 
up in the floof in the front, right? But if we if we if we turn to the side, right? It's the same same basic shape, right? I mean, I comb my hair in the same. He like does a little upward motion right here. I do like a side motion, like that. We should take our headphones off and compare hair someday. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, for those of you don't, that don't know, I'm, I'm just going to say this. These headphones right here, if you guys don't know what those are, those are the Twitch uh, Streamcaster of the Week. These were awarded to me by Roblox, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Some, like, they're part of the iconic look of, of my avatar now, but whenever I first got uh, awarded these, uh, I didn't even realize it. So Roblox, has, they know who I am. They've given me awards before. So uh, I have a lot of people who are like, Code, why aren't you on the stars list? Why aren't you part of the stars program? Well, because I don't make 25,000 views per video, per average uh, Roblox video. I only make about 2,000 to 5,000 views per video. And that's only if I do Lumber Tycoon too. If I do any other, like, I'm trying to get into jailbreak. I really am. I'm, I'm trying to get into it and do the super cop, super criminal thing, but I want to be completely honest. I just want a different game to play besides Lumber. I love Lumber. I'm not betraying Lumber. In fact, I encourage you, if you've never played Lumber before, come in here, get in here, come build your base and do it. But I love other games. Like I was trying to do, uh, what was it, Subnautica there for a little bit. It's not getting views. Uh, I tried to do Zelda, I'm not getting views. The games that I did complete, I really did enjoy. Like, uh, what was it, the Rain? Rain? It, oh, by the way, go to the channel, go to my channel and look at the playlist. You will not be disappointed, I promise. There's, there's a ton of series that I've done in the past that people just don't know about. They're like, Cody does lumber! Wait, doesn't he do anything else? Yes, I did! I do. I still do. But you know what? I'm going to enjoy Zelda. No offense. I'm going to go enjoy Zelda by myself. Because people, I, I know the ones of, those of you who were enjoying it, great, awesome. I want to enjoy it myself. No offense. And I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go play it for myself. Um, the other thing, I, I love Fortnite. I love playing Fortnite. I get very upset and angry at Fortnite. In fact, when the cameras are off, there are some choice words that I use towards my computer monitor all the time and the other people that I'm playing with. And you can ask my staff as well. I mean, the, the staff members have heard it. It's slipped out. I, I probably shouldn't have cursed in front of the staff, but you know, it happens. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it and be like, no, Coach a perfect angel and it doesn't do anything. He's He's just perfect in every way. No, I, I've used curse words. I, 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 I curse. And it's, it's, it's like, I, I'm not proud of it. But at the same time, it's part of my language. It's what I, I talk, you know. And I do get mad at my kids. I get angry at my kids. When, when they don't do as I'm tell, telling them to do, like, go clean your room. Or go to bed, go take your meds, go go take your melatonin, it's time for bed. No, you can't watch one more video. Yes, you do have school tomorrow. Go to bed. In fact, I can guarantee you, this is, this is the sad part. I know that most of their ADHD, like their ADHD, it comes from me, it comes from my side. And I know that what makes me mad in them is my tendencies because I know how to control it and I know how to bring myself out of the ADHD and be like no you got to concentrate on work you got to get this project done you've got to make this code work because I'm an, I'm an application development analyst for the company I work for I program things right and I know there's deadlines that have to be met on certain projects. But there's one project right now I've been working on for three months. No, four, four months. Is it four months? Maybe. Anyhow, I designed it. Like, 
they told me what they needed. I came in with a, a plan and got with my boss and we, we wrote it up on the board. I took a picture of the board and then I sat down. I developed the, uh, the SQL database for it. I developed the, all the connectors in the background. I programmed the page. I'm making the interface. I'm doing the GUI. I programmed the entire application from like the accountant's standpoint from where, where they need reports on the data. They need uh, specific entry points, like ways to enter the data, uh, validation on everything. You know, and this may be very boring to some people, but it's interesting to me. So we came into a meeting last week, sat down, and I completely missed the very first thing. Where the, the point of sale? <laughs> Before it ever gets to the accountants, the point of sale guys is going, where do I enter things? <laughs> Oops, I forgot a vital step. <laughs> That's happens. And I know that I've, I've just got to focus myself back in and go, okay, I missed a step. Let's go correct it, you know? And I do, I, I want to go watch YouTube. I want to go play. I want, I want to play Roblox games and hang out. But you know what? There's work to be done. In fact, I'm probably working right now. As you're watching this video, I'm at work. I'm not here. I'm not playing video games. I'm in front of a computer and I'm, I'm hacking away at code. L literally like I'm, I'm hacking and slashing code into probably cold fusion, maybe some JavaScript, HTML onto a web page. And I, I know what my current problem is. I'm trying to create a way to upload a PDF that gets generated by a third party program, extract the data that they've already typed in and place it into a database that I've designed. Because I know that they're like going to take this PDF and they're going to type it in line by line to do what? To go and type it in again onto to my program? No, you don't want to do that. That's called repetition of data. Don't do that, okay? When, when you get a fax from someone, like, I've never understood this. If you get an attachment in an email, right? You print that attachment out to sign it and then to scan it back into your email. Why did you do that? Why did you waste the piece of paper to do that? Well, because it's got to be signed. Sign it digitally. T turn it into a picture and then like sign it in paintbrush and then take a snapshot of the picture and put it back into the computer. Like put it back into your email without wasting paper. There's so many different things that, that could be more efficient in this world. And I'm trying my best to, to not get frustrated at them, but it just, you know what? That's my job. That's what I do. That's what that's what I get paid the big bucks for. And trust me, YouTube doesn't pay the bills. It is not my primary job. And for those of you who keep saying, "Oh, Code's getting all this money from YouTube," now it helps. It it does. It takes care of like a gas bill, but it's not the bread and potatoes. Well, meat and potatoes. It's not the breadwinner. Breadwinner breadwinner. It, it doesn't bring home the bread. It doesn't bring home the bacon. It may bring home a slice of bread. Maybe, maybe, but not, not the full meal. That's what, uh, that's what I have a, 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 a big job for. That's the big boy job. Um, for those of you that, that work with me, if you're watching this video, first off, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, but yeah, I don't do help desk. I, I do programming. And I think since I've been doing it for two years that I've lost a little bit of sanity along the way because I don't talk to people as much. Um, normally, like whenever I was working help desk, I, I talked all the time. It was a daily routine of me talking with people on the phone, making connections, fixing computers, stuff like that. And it's just, it was different. And now, um, 
now that I'm a remote worker and since COVID's happened and everything else, I felt this huge separation from the other departments, from, from the other guys that I work with, from my coworkers and somewhat from my boss. It's just felt disconnected and I, I'm very lost sometimes. So that's when I noticed to myself, I'm like, hey, you know what to do, get it done. And I tell my daughter all the time, like, you spent three hours to get five questions done in your math homework because you wanted to listen to music, because you were distracted by your phone, because you didn't read the questions. And what's worse is you missed most of the questions. You've got ADHD. I know you've got ADHD. Let's get focused. Because I, I know that's the exact same stuff that I used to do in school. So, we are at 31 minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, how's that for a Lumber Tycoon 2 video for you? We did nothing on the base. I did nothing inside the game. But you were here and you listened and you... How was it? Was it interesting? Rate me. Rate my content right now out of 10, like one out of 10 being the worst, 10 out of 10 being the best, and leave a comment telling me what your favorite part was because I, I want to read it. On this Friday, I'm, I'm going to take the time to, to check out all your comments, and I hope they're good ones. I hope I, I made an impression of some kind. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I hope your day's really awesome, and I hope you, hope, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.